I am so glad you're here. I am so glad you're here. I am so glad you're here today. I am so glad you're here. If yesterday was Wednesday, today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. All day long. The number of today is seven. And it's still May. Can you guys say the date with me? Today is Thursday. May 7th, 2020. It's green time. For green warm up today, I'm going to read a sentence and you guys get to fill in the missing rhyming word. The boy played with his toy. The pup broke the cup. Pete keeps his room neat. The cat laid on a mat. Did you guys fill in all those rhyming words? Mr. Lion's here today. Can you guys say hello? Hi. Hi, friends. Today, I am going to have Mr. Lion say the beginning of the word, and I am going to say the end of the word, and then we're all going to put the word together. Do you guys have your listening ears? All right, Mr. Lion, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. All right. Bug. 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 R rug. Rug. G rug rug hug 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 mug 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 dog 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 and the last one Jug, 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 jug. We're going to review our finger play, shiny shoes. We did this one yesterday. So can you guys get your hand ready? This is your shoe. First, I loosen the mud and dirt. My shoes I then rub clean. For shoes in such a dreadful sight never should be seen. Next, I spread the polish on, and then I let it dry. I brush and brush and brush and brush. Oh, those shoes shine. Oh, my. They're so shiny now. I have a letter card, and I want to see if you guys remember what it is. Who remembers what letter this is? G. And what sound does G make? G, G. Sing the, sing the song with me. This is the way the gopher eats, the gopher eats, the gopher eats. This is the way the gopher eats. G, 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 G. Yesterday, you guys listened to me say words that started with the letter G, started with the G sound. Today, you guys are going to listen to the words that I say to see if they end in the g sound. Big. Did you hear the g sound at the end of the word? Big. It's the last sound you hear. Egg. Hug. Tip. That did not end in the g sound. Kiss. Bug, bite, slip, rag, fun, 
jog. And the last word is a bag, bag. Some of those words ended in the g sound. Did you hear them? In this part of green, we have the big book over in the meadow. Where do I look if I want to find a specific page? Yes, the table of contents. And today I'm looking for a poem called The Turning of the Year. It's on page 36. I'm going to look for page 36 in the bottom corners. This book has numbers on each page to tell me where things start. All right. The Turning of the Year by Bill Martin Jr. He's the author. The author writes the, writes the words and illustrated by Kiko Montoya. The illustrator draws the pictures. In January, out I go to welcome winter's icy blow. In February, bound with snow, I sled the hillside top to toe. In March, the warming noontime sun spells the end to winter's run. What kind of weather is on this page? Yes, yeah, snow. Snow is very cold. In April, springtime sets me free to splash through puddles recklessly. In May, strong branches dare me be a squirrel in an apple tree. In June, the warm earth fashions green and insects sing goodbye to spring. We are in spring right now. In May, that's what month we're in. Strong branches dare me be a squirrel in the apple tree. Have you guys seen a lot of squirrels out lately? The squirrels love springtime. They're gathering all their nuts right now. What are these children doing? Splashing in the puddle. Here's the squirrel in the tree. Flowers blooming. <coughs> it's red time and red time is story time. Today, <clears throat> we are going to talk about the princess and the pea. I am going to reread a few of the paragraphs and then we're gonna discuss what senses they are using. Remember, we have five senses. We see, we hear, we smell, we taste, and we feel. So I'm gonna reread a few of the paragraphs and we're gonna talk about which sense they're using. One evening, a terrible storm came on. There was thunder and lightning and the rain poured down the torrents. Suddenly a knocking was heard at the city gate and the old king went to open it. What sense did the king use to know that somebody was knocking on the gate? That's right, he heard it, he listened, he could hear it. All right, the next paragraph. It was a princess standing out there in front of the gate, but good gracious, what a sight the rain and the wind made her, her look. What sense do you use to notice that somebody's covered in rain? That's right, you can see them. Next paragraph. Oh, very badly, she said. I have scarcely closed my eyes all night. Heaven only knows what was in that bed, but I was lying on something hard so that I am black and blue all over my body. It's horrible. What sense did she use to be able to know that she was laying on that pea? right she could feel it she was using her feeling sense it's blue time which means it's almost time to say goodbye today for blue you guys get to draw a picture of your favorite scene from the story the princess and the pea what is your favorite scene did you enjoy the princess standing in the rain and becoming all wet? Or did you like when the queen stacked the 20 mattresses and the 20 eider down beds on top of each other? 
or was your favorite scene at the end when the prince and the princess got married? What was your favorite scene? Mm -hmm.